let, let's move on to the US soldiers killed in the drone attack. Oh, right, perfect. So three US soldiers killed uh, over 40 injured, and they were stationed in, in Jordan near Syrian border. All right. What, 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 what is US reaction? <laughs> what are we going to do? Yeah. Oh, dude, you, you yeah. got the, the hard line guys are like, got to take them out, bro. God, yeah, God. But no, just just for for a fact. It's just hold on for that little statement for a second. You know, for a fact that the hardline guys are like, "We got to take them out." But isn't that the same fucking response that Israel did with Hamas, dude? <laughs> okay, but so oh. it's okay for the Americans to do it, but it's not okay for the Israelis to do it. One hundred percent. When I heard um, the Ayatollah of Iran. Um, basically saying that, well, look, we didn't tell them to do it. Yes, we back them, but we didn't tell them to do it. You know, yes, we back fucking Islamic this and Islamic that. Ironic, because most of these groups are very Islamic as far as the way they treat their fellow human being. But anyways, it's the same irony with like countries that are named the Democratic Republic, those kind of things. It's like, oh shit. What what's North Korea's name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's the Democratic Republic of North Korea. It's something crazy. It's, it's <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as you see DR, you're like, oh fuck, we're in we're in shambles. One hundred percent. The acronym comes nowhere near us. <laughs> exactly. I don't want anything to do with you. I have a random question for you, Jen. Yes, you know what yes. the acronym the acronyms of countries? Why yeah. was South Africa given a Z and not an S, but Saudi got the S before we got the S? Well, woo, let's think. Huh? It possibly could be that, that we Saudis have all the oil. <laughs> 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 might might be that potentially might be that so this incident um that occurred where basically there was a drone attack on a u.s navy uh base as josh mentioned out in jordan and the crazy thing is how they actually managed to pull this off dude so three people were killed i'm sure you've heard their names surnames their social security numbers i'm sure you got all of their pictures because it's been everywhere um Three people killed, just saying. <laughs> but three people killed, 40 injured. And how they basically did this, you know, of course, it's a Navy base, so they've got sensors and cameras and shit. They basically had a drone that kicked it out to do some, maybe some surveillance. I think it's a surveillance drone. Kicked it out, did some totally legal surveillance. And then uh, on its way back, they basically fired a drone, and this drone tailgated the uh, U.S. drone that was coming back home. So it, it completely bypassed the systems like that. And I mean, I just, want, I just want to point out something. The U.S. drones are worth dollars upon dollars upon dollars. And these Iranian, Iraqi, and whatever drones are made out of fucking nothing. Okay? <laughs> They're like... A hundred the expense of these American drones, and it got fucking through the defense of another drone. It like it tailgated. Like, have you no, ever worked in an I, office? I, I don't, I don't, I don't, and there's that dude, guy like one, waiting by the access one, card machine. One drone, <laughs> one drone is worth almost over a quarter million dollars. I guarantee you, whoever made that drone made it worth five grand. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he okay. used the other ninety nine million on a house in Qatar. Sorry. That's yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> no, it's but the Iranians have been so the, Iran has been playing the long biggest and longest like sleeper game for the longest mm. time where they've been playing stupid. Um <clears throat> yes, under Trump Trump's uh, presidency he got Wait like, a second. Didn't they get a billion dollars from the US a year ago? Uh, make that six billion dollars. Um, so from I wonder if they make drones or not, right? From Joseph, yeah, and I wonder if they're still spending five grand to make them. Mm. But apparently, that money hasn't been touched. It's in trust with Qatar and the U.S. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> what a lot of shit, Jay. You know that's a fucking lie, bro. I could literally walk into a dealership today, 
and buy a car based on my bank balance. I don't have to have the money with me. I just need to be able to show you that I am the custodian of this money. And if anything happens, I am the custodian of this money. (laughs) So why can't... You don't have zero access to it anyway. Zero access to it. So, So why can't Iran do that with fucking arms dealers? Hey, like with arms, we're talking about gang gangs, arms dealers, dude. <laughs> so that's basically what happened. Um, it's affected the U.S. is like, what the fuck, you know? So the U.S. Is, you're, you're saying the U.S. has given Israel the open green light for the war on Gaza now, right? Yeah. So like most of these dudes do, and the group that basically took responsibility for this, ironically. <laughs> Iran has been blamed for it. It's Iran, it's Iran, it's Iran. Iran's like, what? We didn't do that. What are you talking about? Um, Okay, so who did? We don't know. Then a group by the name of Islamic, the Islamic Resistance, which is pretty much an umbrella group for like a whole bunch of little extremist factions. And they came out and they took responsibility. Hey, that was us. And ironically, they are all f- pretty much funded by Iran. So, but but Iran never. So so it was thrown back at Iran is to say, but you support these groups and you fund them. When they were like, no, it's not us. I was like, yeah, but we didn't tell them to do that. And getting back to what you were mentioning earlier, doesn't that sound very familiar? Like with uh, America and Israel, it's kind of like. America, why are you bombing Gaza, the shit out of Gaza? It's like, bro, we're not bombing the shit out of... What are you talking about? It's like, but mm-hmm. aren't you supplying money and weapons to Israel? Yeah, but we didn't tell them to bomb the shit out of Gaza. What the... F- like, hey, deep... My niggas is crazy, you know? I can't control my dogs. I can't control my dogs. Keeping keeping up with this fucking story, it just sounds like a textbook narrative. Like everything is textbook right here, right? No, hundred like, percent. Gaza didn't want to play. Iran doesn't want to play. So let's create this whole narrative where America comes in and fucking saves the day, eventually. Where fucking Israel has been doing fine by themselves. They just need the confirmation and authorization from the rest of the world to do exactly what America does. No, hundred percent. And <clears throat> I mean that's a, a story. Um, you can apply to a lot of stuff. Uh, <clears throat> something that we had an issue with, and I'm not talking um, about the current like South African thing at the UN against Israel. I'm talking about back in the day when South Africa um, <clears throat> didn't have morals to stand on. <laughs> so we had <laughs> like a person wanted by the same court that we are taking seriously now. We had someone that was wanted for genocide he basically killed over 300,000 of his own people. Not sure maybe you heard of him, Mr. Omar al-Bashir. I hope I'm not saying the wrong name, but it, it should be Omar al-Bashir, I'm sure. Uh, I might have been watching too much Saudi football, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but we basically allowed him to fly in through one of our national key points, um, which is a, a top military air force base, and we allowed him to fly the fuck out. So... <clears throat> Before that, we had that situation there. And our immediate defense to it was, well, you know, we don't, res- we don't respect this court because uh, it's mainly the U.S. and the... But-. And what they said was very valid. Only problem is they literally used it as an excuse to justify their incompetence and their, basically, their, their terrible backwards thinking. But so the main thing was that, as we've seen, the U.S. and the U.K. like hold huge veto power. Like everyone can say one thing, and the U.S. and the U.K. just needs to be like we oppose. And mm. it's that whole week or that whole month or that whole year's work is just a fucking in the toilet, right? And of course, the obvious hypocrisy that. Everyone else besides the aforementioned nations are being charged for war crimes that the aforementioned nations 
have committed repeatedly yep. in the past. That's the fact of the matter. End of discussion. It's, it's just a, it's just de facto narrative, man. It's just like you know, it just comes back to the way that they play against the people. Let's see what happens in the next week when people find more about this and see how America responds to it. And then obviously you'll figure out, well, is this actually going to turn into a full blown war or in six months time, everything's going to be fine because America is going to swoop in and save the day, even though Israel's doing uh, ground fundamental work. Mm. And then boom, four years later, we're going to have another Gaza um, penetration. Mm. And, I and mean, then just, we'll do, do it all over again. But think about it. And another parallel is the Islamic resistance that just basically carried out the attacks have mm -hmm. hitched their wagon to the Palestinian cause, saying that they're, of course, doing these attacks because of Israel's bombardment of Gaza. I mean, well, they have been doing it prior to that. Um, they're just doing what terrorist organizations do and hitching theirs to the right wagon. But another, another condition that they've basically put out there in order to stop the bombing is not just stop bombing Gaza. It's the US and the UK need to completely leave the region. Now, let's just think about that, okay? Are you serious? That's, so, so that's the equivalent of um, what, what people are saying, for example, about Netanyahu, that he set this unrealistic military target of completely wiping Hamas out in order to maintain a forever war, as they call them. Like, mm -hmm. let's wipe out Hamas, you know? Oh, we get America, you must get out the Middle East. It's, yeah, bro, like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> so long as, I mean, the main reason that they're giving for staying out there is, of course, they, uh, ISIS. They were absolutely bombing the shit out of ISIS and unfortunately, some innocent people over the past couple of years. But they managed to basically <clears throat> dissemble ISIS, who's starting to... You know, it happens because, again, these organizations are ideologies. They're not things. You know, we're craziest thing. Hamas is not a thing. So, like, there's no court you can prosecute Hamas in, as we keep being reminded. Because Hamas is not a country... So they can't go to the ICJ. They're not an individual. So they can't go to the ICC. And they're a terrorist organization. So they're not going to listen to anything else you say. So there's, there's no recourse for Hamas. For anything. Cause, purely because we don't know what court to put them in. But anyways. <laughs> it's an unrealistic goal. And provided the US still feels that there's an a, a threat as far as ISIS or they're called, I think, ISIL now. Um, I can't keep up. Provided they still feel that that threat is there, they will never leave the Middle East. So let's think about that as far as are we starting a war or are we just going to fucking kill people slowly? Like every couple days kills a couple people and act, no, but we're not doing anything. Hey, we don't want to start a war. And, like, shoot your bodyguard and your driver. We don't want to start a war. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on it as it develops. But, um, as we mentioned, dude, 2020 war. 2020 war. Give you an indication of what's going to occur, Jim. What's going to occur in the next week? Within the next week, I think America is going to take longer to react. I think they're going to mm -hmm. try and catch them completely off by surprise. I think they're, they're busy negotiating <clears throat> the magnitude of the response to ensure that it doesn't escalate tensions in the region, which is so weird. You know, there's this, guys, there's this like unwritten rule, okay, between like rival nations that when you attack me and it doesn't kill too many people or anything, um, <clears throat> I can attack you back but don't kill anyone. So if you shoot something at me and you don't kill anyone, I'll allow you to shoot something back so long as you don't kill anyone. You know what I mean? So <laughs> they allow each other to destroy infrastructure as like a, a, a sign of good faith. Um, something to think uh, about. You know what that is? That's called the military industrial complex, bro. Oh, yes. 
Construction. What are you? What are you in? The- I'm in construction, brother. Gravy train. Thank you for watching this clip from the OG session. For the full episode, visit the It's Friday Forever YouTube channel. Whilst you're there, subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you're notified whenever we drop new content. And I'll catch you in the next one.